Sure. So this is a coalition for Virginians with mental disabilities, and we are advocates for people that with um, that have substance use issues, intellectual disabilities, and mental health issues. Steal my car, drink my liquor from an old fruit jar, doing the thing that you want to do. But I know, oh, honey, that all would have to do, don't you? Step on my blue slate shoe. You can do anything, but they all go my blue slate shoe. Yeah, I'll take it down. This General Assembly. Well, I can either, I can either. Well, um, substance use disorders is generally. Um, the last thing that's considered um, when it comes to putting more resources in it. So we have an uphill battle to to fight. Um, funding, funding is really important to me. Um, I'm up here from Virginia Beach in a treatment center called Rubicon Women's Facility, and it deals with substance abuse, and they're trying to close it down. And why it's important to me is because I suffer from co-occurring disorders, which means I suffer from mental health and substance abuse. And when my insurance got cut, I lost my um, insurance for my medication. I had a 4.0 GPA in school. I ended up dropping out. I ended up self-medicating. And I ended up here in Richmond at a facility center, which is helping to save my life because it's helping me to get back on track, get my medications again, so that I can be productive again. And due to funding, this place is probably going to close. I was clean for two years, but I didn't know I had mental health issues, and I relapsed, and five months, I lost everything. So I went to RBHA, and they got me back in Rubicon. <laughs> now I'm back in school um, for nail technology, and um, I'm job searching. Okay. And I'll be leaving Rubicon February 6th to transition into a transitional house. We need funding for women. It's a lot of men recovery houses and a lot of men transitional houses, but it's not enough for women, especially mothers with children. Well, one of the most important issues is definitely raising awareness about mental illness because there are a lot of misconceptions and realities that about one in four people deal with mental illness. And so the more, the more information people get, the more awareness that's raised, um, the more people are comfortable and they're much more likely to seek help and get support. Um, we are here um, educating legislators and talking with lawmakers about the need for more community-based services, the need for more housing options, the need for more services so that people who are residing in state psychiatric hospitals um, can transition out to the community because right now there are about 150 people who don't have the services um, to transition to the community and live successfully. Um, I'm here to for uh, people with disabilities. My son has autism and he's on the DD waiver list and I'm here to thank the legislators who supported that and also encourage other ones to, to uh, just uh, support legislation to, to get more services and to get more waiver slots. Okay, and can you explain to me a little bit about what that is? Um, waiver slots allow people with institutions to be able to come out that want to if their family is in agreement and they're, they're in agreement that they're able to come out of the institution. Um, and it provides community services for people with disabilities. It's a lot cheaper than keeping people in institutions. And it also um, provides our kids and our families a way to live like other people.